So I have another one here to grip and rip. You gotta grip it hard. This one is the black. So I already did the um, blue version of this. The unboxing, this is Samsung Galaxy Note. This is the black version. So we're gonna get it open here. Yeah, the black is boss. Yeah, that black is boss. Nothing else in the box, man. I already did an unboxing, so let's just move all this aside. I'll get it fired up here and I'll compare it next to the uh, the blue one right now. So I bugged her enough and she got me a black one. <laughs> I just, I, you know, doing a review on something, it's kind of difficult to do it if you're not actually using the device yourself uh, every day. And that's kind of what it boiled down to. I was like, man, how am I going to do this review of this device if I'm not using it every day? So the little bit of hands-on time that I've gotten, you know, it's, it's been cool and everything, but I told her, I said, you know, you should break down and just buy me one. Since I canceled my original order, you should let me rock out with that black onyx. And here they are this off all these labels here they are next to each other I'm sure you've seen a lot of videos the black onyx is boss the reason being is because black onyx has like this mat uh, it's like a mat around the sides and things right here it's like a dark gray or something like that Really boss. I mean, the blue is the blue is hot and everything, but I just wouldn't. I don't know. I think the ladies might like that a little bit better. It's different. It's eclectic, you know. So uh, the blue is the blue is hot. My wife says the iris scanner is good. It's very fast. I watched her use it, and you know, it's, it's pretty fast. Not something that I'm used to, though, because or the, I shouldn't say I wouldn't want to use it because it you have to turn the screen on. You got to light the screen up in order to use it. That's kind of pointless to me. Like, you got to light the screen up to use it? Uh, defeats the purpose. It would be real nice if it, could, if it had it uh, to where just you look at it. That's innovation right there. But here, uh, excuse me. Here's the black onyx. Uh, the Black Onyx Note 7. I'll pop my SIM card in here. Actually, let me put my SIM card in here and set this up real quick. All right, guys, so I got it all set up. And this time, since this is one that I'll be using myself, and not my, my wife's phone, I set up the iris scanner. You can see how, how fast it is. It takes a sec. I'm behind the camera, so it took a little bit. But um, the iris scanner is kind of fast. I don't know that I would use that daily uh but you know it, it's hot man it's it's you know it's something it's, it still falls under gimmicky for me uh the fingerprint reader is definitely faster you know you just press it on there. i'm so used to doing that um now the, the iris scanner is faster in use because you both you have to light up the light up the phone or light up the screen to use either one and that's not something that you know i think it makes the the fingerprint sensor makes it you know more realistic you know uh, you know holding the phone lighting the phone up and then holding it to your face to light it up uh, to unlock it you know it's a, it's a nice it's a nice feature but i doubt that i'll ever even remember to use it uh that's that's the thing so <clears throat> i've actually been playing with this phone i've been playing with this phone for at least i don't know it's been about five days since we had it and every now and then i get a video up and i'll start to uh, do, uh play around with it and i found that um there's some things that i found out that i just didn't like immediately uh once i once i got the phone now <clears throat> I'm just setting it up as I'm talking to you here, you know. 
Uh, but one thing I, I realized that I did not really like is this new this new menu, uh, the, the new TouchWiz. It's so different. It's like they've buried some of the things. Instead of making it simple, they kind of buried a few things. And um, I wish they had not. Have, I wish they would not have done that. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know, man. Um, you might think I'm disappointed in this phone. Or it might sound like I really don't like it. Uh, but I actually do. I've always supported Samsung. You know, I really like their products. Um, I just think that sometimes you can kind of get in the way of yourself. If you start to get too good, um, then you get in the way of success. And um, or you start to get um, too. Um, you start to think you're too good. You you get in the way of your your growth. And um, Samsung with this new TouchWiz menu, I think they kind of buried. Uh, some of the simple things about the phone instead of keeping it really really simple but nonetheless I will give you <clears throat> a video tomorrow about this time or I'll have it up and uh, I'll give you my first 24 hours I always do it after the hype uh, and I will continue on with this phone no different uh, this phone will get after the hype as well and um, I think I'm, I'll, I'll think I'll probably enjoy it. I did a camera. I did an updated camera video with my favorite phone, uh, the Moto Moto Z, and a lot of people were happy about that. I'm happy that I could oblige and you know give you what you really wanted to see. Uh, but everybody's been wanting a speed test with this phone right here, and I will give it to you. People want a speed test between these two, and I think it's kind of always almost like a mockery that a person will want that, but. Because they know that Samsung doesn't have very good RAM management. And, um, you know, you, you already know. You've seen speed tests before, but um, you know that Samsung's RAM management is not very good. Uh, and uh, I think over time they'll fix that. But, you know, the build quality on here uh, is, is really good. I gave you a hardware tour at the beginning of the video. This is actually a really well-built phone. Now, I've got plenty of cases to go on this bad boy already. Um... I think I've got some. I'm gonna. I got one that I wanted to go ahead and put on it. I tried it on the on the blue one, um, but I'm gonna put it on this this black one because I know it's gonna look better. Uh, let me grab it real quick. So I've got some cases that I know will look really good on here. And take a look at this right here while I'm getting this up. This is not my normal unboxing, but hey, we might as well just talk. You can see now the always on display. It gives you some kind of little thing right here. I wish that Samsung would do all of the notifications. Um, and I'll, I'll find out here after some use, after 24 hours, whether it does that or not. Uh, but Poetic is my go-to company for a lot of cases. And I just want to try them on. I've already tried these on the blue one, but obviously the black is gonna be, and stay tuned guys for a later video. I've got a video that I'm working on called the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 Case uh, Frenzy. Uh, so yeah, that's that's super hot as I thought it would be. That's freaking hot. So um, let's try on uh, another case here with this black one. Again, I've already reviewed these, but I didn't have this black one because I initially canceled my order. But I realized that I won't be able to really review this phone for you um, if I'm not using it like daily. I thought that I could work that out, but you know, even though my wife has tons of phones, she likes the Note 7 the best. Um, she put down that iPhone finally, man. Oh my gosh, I got tired of her with that iPhone. Um, but she put that down. And uh, she finally started using real devices. Let me, let me stop taking shots at iPhones. iPhones just get boring to me after a while. That's all. I think, that, I, I think iOS belongs on tablets. That's all. I, I have an iPhone myself. I, I like it, you know. I bought two of the iPhone SEs. I bought her a, a rose gold one. She still uses those. Uh, but I just think that uh, iOS belongs on tablets. Nonetheless, here's this case. Now, this might be one that I use daily. Might be. Might be. But the one that I had planned on pulling out is this one from Oblique. The slim metal. I think the slim metal probably is going to be my, my favorite of all these. So, and again, I've already reviewed these. I'm just kind of trying them on with this black model that I have now. Because uh, the blue one is such an eclectic color. You can't find a lot of cases for it. Boom. So, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep this one on. 
Yep, I'm gonna keep this one on. So anyway, man, uh, let me try this iris scanner thing again. Okay, so it is kind of fast. Uh, but again, I don't know that I'll even remember to use it, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, compared to the blue one here, um, uh, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. I wanted to get my wife's thoughts on this phone. She hasn't been getting the best battery life out of it, uh, but you know maybe she'll um, maybe she'll start to enjoy it after some time. I mean, it does take a person some time to um, to get used to something new. She had the Note Five, and we got rid of that Note Five, and she went to this. You know, she she's always had a Note in her in her catalog. And the Note 5, 64 gig, you've seen it on the channel. That's the one that she normally rocks with. But so we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a full review on this Note 7. Um, this isn't a review unit. Uh, we, I had to buy this, um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and rock with it. I've already done a camera review with it against my favorite, one of my favorite phones, the Moto Z. I'll let you guys decide on that. You chose which one you thought was better. That video is up right now, so go check that out. Anyway, this is just a quick hands-on and impressions of the black. Um, Galaxy Note 7. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.